I think we have a lot of anger, but I think our anger is, I don't know, for me it feels less about being anti and more about being for something different, for the embracing of the rawness of being alive, for recognizing that suffering and madness have incredible meaning, um, for the importance of just truly listening to each other and making space for each other to be in the the dark sometimes. Um, So people can paint us as anti-psychiatry and yeah, I mean, it's a perhaps sometimes a legitimate way to frame some of this, you could say, but I'm more interested in focusing on what we are for, which is a different way of being with each other and with ourselves. And, and um, yeah, and I think, I think at the heart of it is fear. Um, people are afraid of these ideas. They're threatened by these ideas. Um, they're afraid of themselves, perhaps, and their own darkness, and that's maybe part of why they get so convinced that people who are struggling are broken because they're not in touch with it within themselves. And I think even within this movement, sometimes there can be tension between different parties. um, When, you know, shared object, even though we have shared objectives, um, people have fights and, and all of that. And I think there's a lot of, there are a lot of wounds. A lot of us have a lot of wounds that we're dealing with in our own ways. And, and I do think it's important that people in our movement find ways to heal together um, and to not perpetuate the same harms that were done to us upon each other.